So since Bob is just starting his career, we'll pick him. So again, we're going to start from the forest, and then go to whichever stage we like. I say, let's try going to Star Hill. We'll go through the forest, through the train tracks, I guess, and then up the hill to where the space whales live. Crystal is kind of hard to use, to be honest with you. But you know, we're pretty quick. Uh oh, Lion. Lion is ruining our day. Flesh and a lion. All right, but we can easily jump over the lion's attacks. Well, we just got our health fully restored. Well, we climb the beanstalk. Where is it going to take us? Just going to ignore you guys. You're too much work to kill. Ooh, power up. How are we doing on power ups? Four. Oh no! We had like six lives. Let's try that again. Well, we do have six lives. But we still gotta start over from the beginning. Yeah, Bob might be a little too fast.
Now these jumps would be hard to make if I couldn't fly. Penguins. be a little more careful this time around. Alright. Gotta make the eclair jumps. stars are bad. They will hurt you. I think you can shoot them out of the air, though. There we go. No eggs for it, though. Run! Run, Bob! Run! Run from the scary stars. Ugh. Okay, Bob didn't make it. We're gonna... We're gonna pick somebody else. Let's try... Try Sky. And let's. You know what? Let's go to the Fire Ice. the Ice Fire Mountains. Ooh. So, yeah, instead of Flish. Uh, tree Turtles? There's the line. I think we figured out how to deal with lions, right? and done. And we're level 15. We can throw... Well, we can throw four balls, forward and diagonal. that big heart.
What's that sky? Kind of looks like the gargoyle from Monsters Party. Eh, maybe a little bit. I don't think he was a gargoyle. I might be using the wrong, wrong term. It's some sort of bird monster. I remember that. I liked Monster Party, but heaven help me if I could ever beat that. Penguins, please, please, penguins? No penguins. Ah, oh, just one more. Actually, you know what? One more and we're gonna max out his weapon. So let's see if we can find someone else. Maybe respawn one of those penguins. And you can see the penguins have their own little houses and everything. Look at that, their own little rooms down there where they sleep. Probably read. Got mirrors, so they're obviously checking themselves out. What? Uh, Santa Claus! Mmm, I'm frozen and can't move. The Silver Dragon, he tricked me. Please defeat him, Sky. There won't be any presents this Christmas. If I'm like this. Alright, so the Silver Dragon is a dragon inside of a dragon. Very Dr. Wily kind of uh, style here. Now, as you may have noticed, we haven't actually damaged the body yet. Because we have to get this little sucker out first. Now, this guy's not too bad. Once you figure out that he fires three bursts at you, wherever you happen to be... We've almost got him. With our weapon so powered up, it's easy. You sure taught him a lesson. As punishment, next Christmas I'll have him pull the sleigh instead of the red nose reindeer. Well, we saved Santa, but we still don't know where Princess Rua is. Alright, Taper. Alright, now we get to make another ally, so start thinking about what the head and body and weapon we're going to give him. An alien head? Sure, let's give him an alien head. Alright, we got green alien, we got pink alien, and we got xenomorph alien. What do you think? Alright, we're going with the pink one. He's even got a little deedly bopper antella, antenna on his head. So, Look at that! Look at that with the armor! <laughs> Alright, we gotta pick a body. What body are we gonna give our pink alien? Go, go with the armor? Oh, wings! Okay. Well, we've only got one wing left, and that's bird wings. Well, we got 009 cyborg body, and I don't know what which body that is. Maybe an Ultraman looking body. Alright, let's give him the armor body. Now the question is, what weapon do we give him? The pencil fires a projectile that goes straight, and then slowly you build up until you're firing like three of them at a time. Alright, someone says flower, so we're going to give him the flower. Flower actually works a lot like crystal, if I remember correctly. Now we gotta name him. Well, I would name him Sir Squid. We don't have enough characters, so I'm just gonna call him Sir. Alright, 
Sir is doing good on HP, and his attack power is a little low. His weight is 749. Alright, let's see how he moves around. Speed-wise, he's okay. His jump isn't all that impressive. Yep, and there's the flowers. It's like he throws a seed, and then they explode. And the explosion will do damage over time. So let's go with Sir Squid. Now, Sir Squid is going to start with pretty much nothing. Bob is also at his start as well. Ryo over here is a little powered up from playing him. But let's go with Sir Squid. And you know what? A, a, a knight needs a castle. So let's go to Trump Castle. So first we gotta climb down the mountain. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, we gotta go up. after us. See, this would have been a good level to be able to fly. Flesh. I don't know what the super power up does. I will take a big heart. me fish. Alright, so we powered up to four. Did it change yet? I don't think so. Uh oh, it's getting dark. We must be getting close to the tower. I mean the castle. Yeah, that's what I meant. I should just let these fish kamikaze themselves. Oh, dream elephant. Was it a dream? Or was it an alcohol-induced hallucination? Explosion has gotten bigger yet. Maybe it has. The flowers look bigger. Star Road. Penguins. And we're in the castle. Oh! These are the bad armadillos. 
Look up here, we got a deer head. Throwing his antlers at us. Like it's evil dead or something. Gotta be careful, these armadillos are almost get killed. Run. Run home to your mama. Oh, wait, sir. I was tricked by the Joker. I've been trapped in Trump Castle for so long. Please help me. Alright. This is actually a pretty tough boss. But I don't know if tough is the right word as much as it's time consuming. So we gotta go through all the spade cards. And once we've gone through all the spade cards, we get attacked by other cards. Right now we can we just gotta avoid the spades. We can destroy them. You know, we're not doing too bad with this flower. You're, you're kind of right, it is a little bit like like the holy water from Castlevania. Okay, our first card, the, the Jack. Oh, that, that worked out pretty good. Now the Queen. You know, if I can actually hit them, this doesn't work out too bad. Whoa. Because they get damaged by the flowers. Oh, they're getting too fast for me. Now it's time to fight the Joker. So Sir Squid got his day ruined. We're gonna take Rio. And well, we can either go back to Trump Castle. Or we can go to the Star Hill. And I don't want you guys to see me go to the same path each time. So we're gonna try going to Star Hill. Penguins. Don't do that, penguins. I don't like when you do that. Actually, his weapon's almost fully powered, too. And now his weapon is fully powered. And he throws boomerangs in three directions. Oh, jeez. Almost killed myself there. And there are the... the flying drug-induced elephants, and there are the... windfish. Yes, the windfish from... Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, Link's, Link's Awakening. Happy, what do you call them, pods? Yes, pods. Pods of Skyfish. Windfish. Oh, that was close. appropriate that we bring up Zelda. Just wait till you see the boss.
Yeah, it's the moon. Harvest moon. I want to shine brighter than the stars in the night sky. More beautiful than the sun. That is my dream. Row, fight me. Row, row, fight the moon. The moon is a pain in the ass, actually. Because if you touch the moon's body, it's pretty much game over. Now, those three, well, four stars around this body, they kind of home in after you. So if you're moving around just the right way, you can avoid getting hit by them. But they also act as a barrier to protect the moon. So I kind of like to stick in one corner and hope that I don't touch his body. Because if you can avoid touching his body, he's really not that tough. We got him. This also means we get to make another character. Forgive me! A strange wizard said he would grant my wish if I defeated you. Alright, Taper. Alright, create another ally. Alright, guys. What are we making? Ninja Head? All right, so we got Purple Ninja, we got Moonlight Knight, not Moonlight Knight, Tuxedo Mask, and the Samurai. But clearly if we're going Ninja, we gotta go with the Classic Ninja. And what body will our Ninja have? A Cyborg Ninja? Tank Ninja. Okay. That sounds like an anime, doesn't it? Tank Ninja? With a wind-up key? Now yeah, let's go with the regular old treads. Now, what will the Tank Ninja... Well, what else can the Tank Ninja shoot? Other than shurikens? Right? What else? Now... Let's call our tank ninja. What should we call our tank ninja? Nink? Like ninja tank? Nink. Alright, Nink. You got pretty good attack and good HP. You're actually not that heavy. Okay, jumps pretty good. And the treads on the tank are not affected by inclines or declines, so that will help us out. 